Hi everyone, I'm standing here in my kitchen and um, I'm looking at my cute backsplash. So I have been touring um, buyers and homes and it really got me thinking I wanted to talk to all my friends out there listening um, about remodeling, renovating, and one thing I do know is there's good renovations and there's bad ones. So the ones that I've been seeing have been great. Um, but one thing I would recommend for all of you um, is to ask a realtor because sometimes your idea may not be super sellable and it may not be marketable. So you wanna make sure that you ask a realtor. They always have great suggestions and they have great contractors that they work with and that they know, like, and trust. So. I would say that would be a great source for you if you have a realtor um, that you trust and that you you know, can call and I would ask them first. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is, I know a lot of friends give recommendations and neighbors and neighborhood sites and you see people recommending them on you know, blogs or whatever. Um, ask those people if you could go and see the work and you know, see what the contractor, you know, what kind of work he did and make sure it's something that you like up close. So people with renovations, you know, they spend a lot of money and they don't want to be wrong. They don't want to say that, oh, it really doesn't look that great or, you know, we're not happy maybe with the renovation. So I would say see it up close and touch it and look at it. Sorry, that's my dog in the background. Um, so this tile I wanted to tell you because I love it so much back here. It's from Architectural Ceramics in Vienna. So if you need tile inspiration, I would say definitely um, go there, check it out. And um, it's just beautiful. The other thing I would say is if you're thinking of redoing a kitchen, so this is a little bit of a regret that I have. Um, you know, sometimes kitchens can be crazy expensive. You know, there are times I think, should I have waited and knocked out this entire wall? And at the time, I couldn't afford a huge renovation, so I did like a half renovation. Um, and, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Maybe I should have waited. Maybe I should have, you know, knocked down the whole wall and done the open concept. Um, I'm happy with what I have. They did a great job but really think about it and take your time with it. You know, you don't have to rush. Um, the other thing I would say is one of my friends who I adore did, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of renovating um, to her home and now she's thinking about selling it. So she's not going to see all of those dollars back when it com comes time to sell. So remember, that you know just because you're putting all of this money into your home you don't sometimes see it all back it just doesn't work that way so do renovations that are smart and do renovations where you'll see most of that money if not more i mean sometimes renovations can add value it really just depends um you know and think how long am i going to live in this home you know what do i really want to do to it sometimes not renovating it you know, you could sell it um, easily. It just it just depends on the home, obviously, and you know, just be smart about it. Don't rush into a renovation. Don't hire the first person maybe you interview. And that's just a that's just my perspective, but I wanted to throw it out there. I think it's interesting when I go into like a renovated bathroom and they don't have the correct outlets next to the water. And then you think to yourself, hmm, well, I don't know who renovated this, but it kind of, you know, during a home inspection, it makes those buyers think, ooh, you know, is this up to code? It's not. And they said they're renovated. So you want to, it just kind of puts people off a little bit and, and scares them. So make sure that you know who you're hiring. And thanks so much if you, you know, have any, um, if you like what I say, and please go into my YouTube channel, Eat Shop Live Nova, 
and I really am enjoying myself. So thank you for listening, and I hope I've given you some tips or just something to think about, and um, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.